But guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. This is part two of my travel rig video and uh, I'm going to be putting all the software on it and all the drivers I need. So if you like watching paint dry, you can have a look in the bottom left hand corner to see all that. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, time to put this little baby together. I think I've got all the software on I need. I know I won't have and I know there'll be drivers and I know there'll be conflicts and there's going to be learning curves with uh, Nina and everything. Uh, I'm not going to take you through all that but at the moment I'm setting this up. So that's my uh, breakaway cable. So it's 2.1 female in and then 4 2.1 uh, DC out. So it, one will be for my mount, one will be for my imaging camera and one will be for the PC eventually. And the reason why that is, is because the mini PC has two, two USB-C connectors. One's the 12 volt power supply, which is this end, um, which I'll be using temporarily now. Um, and the other one's a proper USB-C um, powered connection. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is get a 2.1 millimeter cable on one end and a USB-C on the other. And uh, I'm gonna have to purchase that so, but for today I'm just going to use the power supply that come with it. So we'll get this connected up. Um, it's going to be a bit messy, but at the moment I'm just trying to make sure everything works. Once it all works, I'll tidy it all up. So that's my power supply. So that'll connect into that lead. Um, and at the moment I can't afford a Pegasus Astro power box, so this is a, a cheaper solution until I can do so. And I forgot, the other 12 volt one, I'm going to try to adapt um, because I have a dew heater, a little dew heater I can put on that. Um, although it's an RCA connector, I'm going to have to uh, try and convert that as well. We'll see how we go with that. Maybe I've got something lying around in the shed. Who knows? Okay, let's go. So we're all powered up and I can hear my camera running, the fan going. I can see a light on here. It's, uh, it's blinking, but I hope that's a good thing. Um, now I have an issue, of course, and there's probably going to be a lot of these issues. Uh, I'm out of ports, so I've got uh, one USB port, two USB ports, three USB ports taken up. But I need to access my mouse and and my uh, keyboard so I'm gonna put a little hub in here I think and uh, connect the mount to that because it's USB 2 the others are USB 3 and it's only a USB 2 hub that I have so uh, I will do that now and I'll be back okay the first thing I want to do is get rid of this horrible screensaver that Windows 11 has found a nice little nebula that I've taken previously and I'm going to use that just to personalize things a little bit before I start. Okay, we're all hooked up. Now, I've uh, downloaded everything I think that I've needed. There was an issue with the Syscan Pro app. I uh, downloaded three versions before I could get it to work with Windows 11. I downloaded originally the 2.1.1, didn't work with Windows 11. Uh, then I downloaded 2.0.1, it didn't work either. I finally downloaded uh, an old version 1.1.9 and it seems to work with Windows 11. So there it is there and I shall connect. Now I'll fire up Nina. So I'm a bit clumsy on this at the moment. I've got to uh, to learn how to use this. Right, so my telescope's there. I'm using the Syscan app driver. And I'll connect. And it's successfully connected. Now 
Up with the slew. The beautiful thing. Isn't that just beautiful? I can't slew it very much because I've got so much crap connected up to it. Uh, but you get the drift. Go back to park. Lovely. Um, whoop. Don't know what happened there. Go back to park. Anyway. Uh, with the guider as well, I've connected, yeah, I've got PHD2 up and running, I'll connect that. Now I've already um, put in all the data relevant to my little 120MC, the WIO color camera and the focal length for the guide scope. And as you can see there on the screen, if I take my lens cap off, ta-da, we have that. Now, I don't have enough USB ports, so I haven't got the, my main imaging camera, my 2HY294C connected, but it did work, and uh, it recognized it straight off the, off the mark, and, uh, and the temperature was cooling, it was doing all the right things. Um, so I'm pretty happy now that I've got all that up and running. It's now, for me, a big learning curve to get my head around Nina. So it's time for me now to have a bit of fun and, and uh, play around with all this um, and I think the next step I need to do is to now integrate with my tablet so I won't be relying on a screen anymore and uh, I hope to sync the PC on the uh, telescope. Uh, to my mobile phone and sync this to my mobile phone and hopefully through remote Windows remote desktop I'll be able to link them all and I can control it from my tablet which was the main goal and then obviously I've got some tidying up to do here at least I know it's working now fantastic okay hopefully this you can see this okay. I'll open up Nina now. So that's obviously my desktop on the little PC. So I'll go to my telescope. I'm just running the little mount off batteries at the moment. And I'll connect to that. And park. Hopefully we will be slewing now. Away we go. Back to park. So that's pretty neat. I can now control everything from Nina. Um, got complete control over guiding as well. Um, that's just brilliant. Obviously my camera's not plugged in now, but uh, I'm really happy, really excited about this. And uh, uh, just a little heads up on this little PC too. It's pretty, pretty good. and. Half this video was made on that little PC as well, so just to get an indication that it's quite capable of dealing with the workload that it's got. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end, I really appreciate that. And um, please, um, if you like the video, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, next video, hopefully this little baby will be shooting a nebula and uh, we'll see the results of what it can do. I'll put it to the test and uh, hopefully get something that, uh, that's going to get me excited because I'm really look, looking forward to uh, using this little rig in the future. Thanks for watching.